Hi guys, and today we were looking at this um, Hornby Sir Winston Churchill funeral um, luggage van, and the number of the luggage van is 524645. As a uh, Winston Churchill fan, I am excited to have this uh, in my collection. Um, I know it's sad that I like Winston Churchill, but it's a hobby of mine. I've got most of his books, um, DVDs. Big fan, I know he's controversial. Um, so this was a must for me, and I'm rather excited about it, if I'm honest with you. I know it's sad for a bit, but I'm not to be excited about I believe this is Era 5. I could be wrong. Everywhere I've looked says Era 5, possibly Era 4, um, but Era 5 is what I'm going with. And from this angle, the detail looks fantastic. Uh, lots of detail by the looks of it, lots of separately applied um, stuff. So we'll get into it and see what it's all about, shall we? Starting off at the detail bag that you get with the coach, uh, looks like you get some vacuum pipes or brake pipes there added. You also get these, which I think are some sort of chalkboards you put onto the doors of the coach. I'm not too sure, but they're they're nice touch anyway by Hornby, especially the brake pipes anyway. As we move on to the um, front or back of the coach, depending on your preference here. Uh, we do have some metal sprung buffers, a little bit stiff, but they do spring back. Um, it's a nice touch, a bit pointless in my opinion, but it's a nice touch anyway. We do have a um, small tension lock coupling on the end one, I believe, as well. We also have um, a, a few moulded bits at the side here, too. We also have a hard ma uh, plastic gangway with looks like a teak door in the centre of it. We also have um, some information, uh, finely printed information, I think it's tampo printed. Uh, it's a nice touch, and we also have an electric sign. Um, Life wires above your head, basically, in the southern region. And as we move on to the side of the va uh, van or coach, I want to call it a coach, um, the uh, livery is crisply applied. I believe this is a slightly Pullman livery for the southern, I believe that is correct. Uh, Winston Churchill funeral frame was a Pullman one uh, for an important person like him. We do have some separately applied handrails and handles to get into the um, fan itself it's very nice we also have separate applied windows which look very detailed look like they've got some sort of crisscross wiring behind them which is a nice touch we also do have some actual boxes uh, details as well um, there not picked out or anything but it is there it's nice to see we have metal wheels as well we also have some sort of um, submarine style handle um, near the rear of the uh, coach not sure what that for it could be for the brakes I'm unsure as well and we also have some under frame details as well and as we do a top-down view of the coach, this is the best I can do, um, so I do apologise about this. We do have some uh, detail on here, which is nice to touch. We have the rain duckets at each of the doors, which is a very nice to add that. We also have which looks like um, lighting or vents in the centre. I think it's more lighting. And we also have these little dots at the end of the uh, either side of the coach as well. Not sure what they are, um, but yeah, it's very nice touch as well. Um, very basic on roof here. And finally, as we take a look at the chassis of the coach, or the um, van, as you want to call it, we do have these butterfly-styled NEM couplings, uh, small ones, which do go back and forth, which are okay. Not a big fan of these, I've had issues in the past. The underframe frame detail itself, we do have some which looks like a electrical equipment uh, for the lighting, possibly, um, or the vacuum pipes which are detailed. Uh, we do have some boxes as well, which I think are generators, like electrical stuff as well. We do have some footboards. I don't know if you can see them or not. We do have them as well. Uh, the wheels are metal, which is always a good thing.
So yeah guys, that's the end of the running session. I'll give you my opinion on it. I think it's a wonderful model, uh, very detailed um, light too. Uh, the only issue I have, if any, is the spun buffers. I don't really see the point in them in double O unless you're using uh, chain links. Um, it's just my opinion, it's the only issue I have. Sure, that could have made the model a little cheaper. Um, it's only my opinion. Uh, what it ran with, well obviously we had uh, Winston Churchill. This was Tangemere and I got it converted um, at the Verta model shop. Then we have Rosemary, I think it is, a railroad range. Then we have the van and then we have uh, Adrian. Um, yeah, I saw it in the shop and I just had to get it. And I'm not too sure what that one is because the coupling's broken. Um, I think it's car 306 or something like that anyway. Um, that's the image I saw. Um, in a magazine, it was that sort of scenario. So yeah, um, they do do other ones. I think they do a BR one. Well, this is technically BR, but they do Southern Red, I think, as well. Uh, they do a few. So not just the Churchill one in this newly tooled um, luggage van, um, but it's very highly detailed and it's probably a must for people who collect preserved stuff. Because this is my only preserved, I think, coach I have or rolling stock. So yeah. Um, Highly recommend it if you're into Southern and you preserve stuff, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and any comments please let me know and I'll see you in the next one guys. Please take care, bye.